My name is Jose Negroni. My name is Stephanie Cuesta. I'm an attorney and I'm an aspiring underwater photographer. I'm studying sports management in the dive industry at Barry University. Something inside my head said this is this is the time. Just do it. I just love the water. That's my passion. Scuba diving is my new passion. Sometimes you just hover. So there's you know just hovering over a shipwreck. You see everything you see in books, but it's real life, you're right there, and especially when you see a shark. It feels a lot like you're flying, and uh, I really didn't expect it to be like that. Taking my first breath on the water was interesting. The only other services I can think of that come close to Dan might be the police, fire, local ambulance corps. But next would be Dan. It's an alert. So when something happens and there's an emergency or you have questions, you pick up the phone. It's like calling 911 emergency. You call Dan. Dan has no other interest than to ensure the safety of divers. It's a non-for-profit organization. What they stand for is not only the protection of divers in their activities today, but everything they put towards research to make sure that they can help make diving a safer sport in the future. You have that security when you go diving, and security when you go diving is very important, especially as a disabled diver. One of the things that affects our community, the African-American community, is diabetes. I thought it was just a very unusual situation where you had a not-for-profit organization that provided a level of expertise that as a diver, you just can't get anywhere else. And I think that's a great resource you know, for our uh, divers. They've done so much for us. They've come out to our facility, done our, their training for us at a moment's notice. It's like having a third buddy with you at all times. Another benefit to Dan is how many different places around the world that you can be that are covered by Dan. They just go out and do it, you know, and they'll help you in any way. They'll answer any phone calls and they'll take it to a chamber. They'll handle the expenses. I can't, I, I still don't even know how they do it. Knowing that if something happens, that all you've got to do is pick up the telephone and somebody is going to be there for you and somebody who understands what you've been doing, understands what you're going through as a diver and so you can focus on what diving's all about and that's having a great time. There's a lot of divers in this world but it is a very close-knit community and in my short time diving I found that out very quickly. We have a common passion and Dan, uh, and the people of Dan, uh, understand it. When I heard about the student membership program, uh, I thought it was an excellent idea. Just because you are a diver and you are a rookie to the community, you get this free coverage and, and on the top of that you get to learn about what, what there is beyond that once you become certified. Dan provides the coverage while you are a student and hopefully you will never need it when you do your giant leap off the boat. It's nice to know that Dan's going with you. They offered $20,000 worth of, uh, of recompression treatment. The school offered the student membership program and I read about it and I was like, oh yeah. And we go and pay $5 for a cup of coffee nowadays. Why not get $20,000 of protection for free? It's a no brainer. Check this out. Um, you can't pass it up. I think the student membership program is a great opportunity for new divers. It's free. And why would anybody not do this? It's, uh, it's an excellent um, opportunity. Essentially, it's free. <laughs> Probably the easiest decision that a student makes. It's almost no decision at all. It's easy. It's easy to become a member. It's, you have access to it. And when you're becoming certified, it's there. And it does provide them with that insurance coverage. It also provides them uh, with a student magazine called The Giant Strike. I can't see why anyone would not join that program right away for free. You know, just to have that peace of mind when you're in your 
infancy in terms of diving. You know, you're all excited and everything. What a great thing, you know, to have them give that to you gratis. At the end of the course, to be able to tell them, look, this thing can continue for such a small fee, and it's just unbelievable. It's extremely important to become a Dan member because you support all the services that Dan provides to everybody. Not only you, but the entire diving community. And I think, to me, it's very important to understand and appreciate the fact that what I'm doing as a member is contributing to the fact that Dan is there for everybody. I think if you're going to be a diver, I think being a member of Dan is a must. Knowing information about Dan, knowing the network, knowing that it's there for you, I think being a member of Dan is a must have as a diver. I really don't think there's a diver out there that can afford to be a member of Dan. It really is the most logical thing they will do as a diver. Are you doing rescue diving? Are you doing, you know, wreck diving in New Jersey, hardcore? I've been a Dan member since uh, the early 1980s, around 1983, 84. I'm actually Dan member number 10. I have that been constantly from, you know, since almost since I started diving. And again, just having that peace of mind, knowing I have a, a friend right by my side, Diane. Well, I, I think you really can't put a value on the kind of services that are provided by Divers Work Network. And in reality, when you think about it, it's less than $3 a month, which is about 10 cents a day. And is it worth 10 cents a day to have that peace of mind? It certainly is. It's a public good. It's a public service. It's, it's something that it's... Um, Cost-wise, it's a very minimal impact. If you're an injured diver, they're gonna take care of you, and they're gonna they're gonna provide you the services that you need. And to me, that's extremely important. Dan is my buddy. 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 Dan definitely my buddy. I'm the president and chief executive officer of Divers Alert Network, and Dan is my buddy. To me, it, to me, it seems unique and it seems like something that is done um, for the profit of the diver and not for the profit of a company or somebody up in a boardroom somewhere. It's done so that we can dive and we feel good when we dive and we're protected. We're being taken care of. Thank <laughs> you.